the three the three raw metrics that I really play, pay close attention to on a daily basis are um, what we call new, they're called NCAs, new customers acquired. So how many new customers did we acquire? And then I look at that broken down in certain ways, you know, different, like different businesses, then different regions, different corridors, areas like that. So not first and foremost, how many new customers did we acquire yesterday? Critical piece of information for me. And then underneath that, how much did we pay? Like whether, you know, that's where CAC comes in. So we just to, again, to be really transparent, CAC, I look at CAC because I can translate things in my head from a macro standpoint. We actually use payback as our main marketing efficiency metric because CAC, our unit economics are different in every corridor. So we have a thousand different unit economics that we're measuring to. So a CAC of X in one corridor can be amazing and it can absolutely be unacceptably bad in another corridor. And so I know aggregately how it should look and how it should all play out at the end. Um, so I look at CAC just to make sure that everything is, is nothing spiked or changed overnight. Um, and then transactions. So we actually, so if you, so the pieces that I put together monthly are monthly active users. Like how many people are on our app, unique users? Like that needs to be going up and to the right constantly because monthly active users turns into transactions. That's where our transactions and volumes come in. And that is, that is our revenue model. We make revenue on transactions. And so um, I keep a very, very close look at how transactions are trending. And then the leading indicator of how the health of the business is new customers. Like, are we constantly bringing new customers in? Um, we are not, obviously, I shouldn't say obviously, we are not a subscription model, right? This isn't Ancestry or Netflix where you bring a user in and then they stack up their, you know, you can just stack it up over time because they subscribe and you can run your churn rates. But the dynamics of our business almost mirror that of a subscription model because people transact and you bring in a customer we, we don't pay back on that first transaction because we know they're going to be transacting for years with us. So it's a lifetime value model. So I, we need to keep our finger on the pulse of the transactions to make sure that we're actually generating, we're, we're generating the volumes we want. We continue to have really high customer quality. That's a, that's a big, you know, is our product adding enough value that people are, are using us over time. To